Imagine you are walking into a job interview with a secret plan in your pocket. This plan is like a map that shows you exactly how to answer every question, uh, impress your potential balls, and live with a job offer. Sounds like something you'd want, right? That's the bar of outcome-based thinking. This is a way of planning that acts like your secret guide to success in anything you try uh, to do. Whether it's getting your dream job, starting a new business, or improving your health, this approach can give you a real edge. So what is outcome-based thinking? Let's break it down into simple steps. Think about getting ready for a big job interview. Instead of just going in and hoping for the best, you start by clearly imagining the outcome you want, and that is getting the job offer. Then you work backward. What does the company care about? What skills are they looking for? What questions might they ask? Then you prepare answers that show off your experience and fit uh, what the company needs. You even plan what uh, you are going to wear and how you walk into the room with confidence. You're not just uh, hoping you'll get the job. You are making sure you are the best person for it. Now, let's say you are starting a new business. Your goal is to be successful and stand out from the competition. With outcome-based thinking, you start by picturing what success looks like. Is it reaching a startup sales number, getting lots of customers, or becoming well-known in your industry? Then you think about the steps needed to get there. And that is, you research the market, improve your product, set up a strong market plan, and prepare for the problems like delays in getting supplies or new competitors showing up. Every move you make is focused on reaching uh, that success. So you are not just launching a business, you are setting it up to win. Or let's talk about your health. Maybe you have decided to get fitter or manage a health condition better. Instead of just saying you want to get healthier, you get specific about what that means. This could be lowering your blood pressure, losing certain amount of weight, or being able to run a marathon. Then you lay out the steps that could be eating healthier food, exercising regularly, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. You think about the challenges you might face, like sticking uh, to a diet when life gets stressful, and you come up with ways to stay on track. You are not just hoping to stay healthy. You are making sure you are moving toward uh, the help you want. But the next time you are preparing for something important, whether it's a job interview, starting a business, or focusing on your health, don't just jump in without a plan. Start by asking yourself, Number one, that is, what's the exact outcome I want? Two is, uh, what challenges might I face? And three, what steps can I take to get past uh, these obstacles? I hope you have learned something that is evidence-based thinking for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your someone who needs to hear this, and subscribe for more tips to help you succeed. See you in the next one.